And we want to get right to our up front tonight, our special guest, Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard. Sheriff Bouchard, we thank you for being there tonight. Good evening. I want to begin with that new information you brought us earlier today during your press conference that the suspected shooter met with school staff the day before the shooting. Then yesterday morning, the teen's parents were called to a meeting at the school with him. Have you learned anything more about this and how it pertains to your investigation? Um, we do have some information, but we can't at this point get too awfully heavy into the detail. But as I mentioned, uh, apparently he had been displaying some troubling behavior to the school staff the day before the shooting. On the day of, in a different class with a different teacher, he displayed some troubling behavior. Uh, they brought him down to the office and in conjunction with school personnel called his parents to the school and talked about that behavior. Uh, but after that, the, the child was dismissed back into the school uh, and the parents left the building. And you were, um, you were not informed? We were not informed of this until after the shooting occurred. Oh. Oh, you said today there's no evidence that this suspect was bullied in school. Um, that one of the things that we had heard from students was, was just that. And what about social media threats, though? Some students telling us they stayed away from school yesterday because of threats of violence. So far, our investigation into the first uh, thing you raised, the bullying, has yet to uncover any bullying. In fact, uh, I personally spoke with the anti-bullying coordinator from the high school. He was not on their list of anyone who has been bullied or needed support. Uh, that's something they actively look for and watch and try to support kids in that situation. Um, and nor has anyone come to us and given us any examples of him being bullied. But I also want to comment on that topic, that point. There's no excuse for bullying. We absolutely stand on the side of any child that feels pressured, harassed, bullied for any reason. But what we saw happen in that school, what I saw personally in that school, there is absolutely no excuse on this planet that would rise to that level, regardless of any kind of bullying, number one. Number two, um, you know, a lot of what we have had to challenge with is social media, as you mentioned. There were no direct threats about this individual or yesterday that came to us at all. There were previous threats that were alleged to have been against the schools in Oxford or nearby, uh, one of which came in on November 11th. Other people called about it on November 15th. We investigated it. It actually was a screenshot of a of a social media post and wasn't even in Michigan. We tracked it down and it was out of Georgia and charges were actually levied in that state. Um, it continued to circulate as a potential threat here, but it was not. And it had zero to do both with this student and with this event. There was another incident that occurred uh, with the schools that had nothing to do with this student or this event. And somehow they've been commingled via social media and it's being propagated out there that people told us about this threat and it was ignored. Completely different threat matrix, completely different thread uh, lines that had nothing to do with this. Motive is, is still <clears throat> a question at this point then. Are we going to get to the bottom of that, do you believe, uh, through your investigation, talking with other students, talking with others who knew this young man? Well, if anybody has a motive that they've heard him express or they knew anything about it, again, no student or person has come to us and said, uh, outside of what we've learned through our investigation independently, that they heard him say or do anything that uh, portrayed that this was about to happen, including um, a motive for it. Uh, I do anticipate as our detectives continue to pour through what has been seized, both digital evidence and paper evidence that I'm hopeful maybe there will be some motive contained therein, but with the, the individual not talking, his parents instructing him not to talk, um, you know, we're not going to get that from him. This 15 year old has now been charged as an adult. You're asked that he be transferred from the juvenile facility to your jail. Why was that important and appropriate in this case? Well, obviously there are a lot of people in Children's Village that certainly are not 
uh, a danger um, to this level or violent to this level. And I think it's important both for the safety of those other individuals at Children's Village, but also appropriate given the level of danger of what this person did, that they need to be in our maximum capability and under close observation. He has been transferred. We already have him in our custody. Uh, there was a search warrant executed at uh, the suspect's home last night. Can you speak to uh, what was taken from there and how that might help in your investigation? Uh, there were a number of items that were taken and tabulated from the home and, and other locations, both at the school and from the suspect, but we can't get too awfully deep at this point into what that evidence is because it's at the point in time where the baton is handed off to the prosecutor to now take it into the prosecution mode and, and you know, revealing too much evidentiary activity um, at this point is something that we can't do. Yeah. Awful, awful situation. Uh, Sheriff Bouchard, Sheriff. thank you for your work, the work of your team, and uh, for your time tonight. Thanks so much. And I'd just like to say, you know, thanks for everything you've done. I would also encourage all of the media to leave the victims' families alone. They're calling us, telling us they just need some peace and quiet and not to be called. But also a shout out to everybody in the community, including our deputies, the other police agencies, and the fire agencies that all selflessly went very quickly and dealt with the threat. Yeah, very, very difficult time indeed. Sheriff Bouchard, thank you. Thank you. Glenda.